All right, good evening. Hello, hello, everybody. Welcome to another edition. Day two, MBBF's final eight. All right, today, is, this is the last game of the day. Royal Hoopers will be facing out with uh, Gombe Bulls. Both teams won their first, their first game. So today, we're gonna know who's going to drop off from the winning from the winning list. All right, for the other games that took place today, uh, Police Batons lost to to Benue Braves. So B Police Batons have two losses to their ta to their tab, while Benue Benue Braves have picked one. Then the second game of the day. Then second game of the day is Police Customs. Then sorry, Nigerian Customs picked their first win too. After losing yesterday to River Hoopers. And Police Customs won their um, Nigerian Customs, sorry. Why am I calling uh, Nigerian, uh, Nigerian Customs Police Customs? <laughs> Alright, so Police Customs. Uh, won their match alright alright sorry for the hiccup let me repeat myself uh, Nigerian Customs defeated uh, Lagos Islanders it was it was a one-way traffic from the beginning to the end of the game. They took the lead and never looked back. Um, Benue Braves did the same thing against police battles. Uh, from the second quarter, Benue Braves, Benue Braves took the lead and that was it. It was all the way downhill for police battles. Then the third game, Kano Pillars, surprisingly to everybody, but I won't say it's a surprise because everything, there's always a uh, change and there's always an improvement, there's always rebranding and everything. So Kano Pillars lost to Quara Falcons. Quara Falcons still hot from their Sam Oguches tournament. Took the game in the third quarter and by the fourth quarter it was it. Was it. Uh, it just all they needed was just one minute of of difference in play, and then Kanu Pillars lost it. Well, this is the last game of the day: River Hoopers and Gombe Bulls. Gombe won their first game. River Hoopers two won their first game. So this game, whoever wins, is going to be on top of their group table. So practically. Every team has lost a game so far, except for these two. So one of them is going to be unbeaten. One of them is going to be an unbeaten team today, while the other will have to start struggling for for survival for the fittest. And here we go, the jump ball, Gombe Boog gains possession. Levi misses the shot. And River Hoppers gets possession. Owen forces the three. Doesn't go. Victor Coco with the rebound. And he hits it to Ochi. Chibuzo with the rebound. None of them has dropped the bucket yet. Still testing the waters, so basket not good. Owen stopped by Levi, but Chibuzo gets the rebound and he takes the ball to the rim. 
Misses, no good. He gets his rebound, second attempt. Still not good. Bright with the rebound and gives it to Johnson. Johnson slows down the pass to Coco. Blocked by Matthew. But Victor gets his rebound. And the first point of the game goes to River Hoopers. Levi looking for the opening. He hits it to Matthew from the corner. Matthew drops it. Ndabu. Ndabu of Gombe Bulls doesn't score. Oh, what a matured layup. That's what you call a big boy layup. No one can stop me. Gombe Busi struggling with the offense. The shot, Victor with the rebound. Victor Coco is good, is a good shooter from the top. But the offense goes begging. And Levi passes his way to Chibuzo. Chibuzo fakes, gets blocked by Victor. And Victor takes the break all the way to Johnson. Johnson slows down, gives it to Victor. Oh, bad pass to the net. But Victor saves his teammate. Gives it to Bright. Ball on top of the key for a reset. Nice pass and Bright uses his size to get to the rim. Bright, as big as he is, you know he's as quick as he gets. Like I said before, it's a 6-0 game now. Gombebu struggling to, to hit the first point of the game. Get rejected. Owen sinks the two. And now it's 8-0. A timeout call by Gombebu. Coach Abdurrahman has to take this call to re-strategize because these guys are not planning on putting the foot, their foot off the pedal. It's Gombebu zero. Royal Hoopers, eight. Last, last MBBF finals, this team were deprived of their BL, BL championship um, attempt due to one or two, what they call it? Things known to only man and God. <laughs> so it's, it's not something we'll talk about here, but right now they are not planning on taking any chances. They want that BAL ticket. And I, I see they are the only ones that are really putting all the work in. Well, I give props to the other teams as well. Uh, I'm seeing a lot of, I'm seeing a lot of, of um, promising, um, promising slots as well. Quara Falcons are really playing well in this tournament. They are in, they are in like competition mode. Their competition mode is off the chart. They are not planning on losing any game, man. I, they, they, they are not practically looking at anybody. They know they look face. That's what I'll say. So right now, Gombe inbounds the balls. Zero, no points. Six minutes, 18 seconds remaining. Another shot goes begging. And I know River Hoppers are going to eat this opportunity. Victor with the shot. Victor sinks it. This is becoming, it's, let me say, it's becoming unbecoming. I don't understand. Gombe Bulls are really struggling to to get to the to the bucket. Like River Hoopers are having a a form field day. Bright on the top, 
Bright gives it to Owen. Owen fumbles the ball. Like I said, um, Gombe Bulls is, is building up a new team. So there are a bunch of crop of few new players. They're trying to get their rhythm together. River Uppers had a few players in their rooster. Whoa! And Wachel would not let them score. If, if, he actually searched for the ball at the end of the world. And Johnson with the three. But doesn't count. Matthew attempts a three. Still not good. Four minutes, 39 seconds remaining. First quarter. Oh, Wizzy got locked. Wizzy got locked in, and they took advantage advantage of it. Oh, Owen fumbles a free layup. We rarely see that from Owen. And Bright with the rebound. Gombe Boos are in trouble right now. 10-0, 12-0, sorry, my correction. Ewache passes to Owen at the corner. He drops a three, doesn't go. And the transition goes. Still not good. And at last, the first point of the game. Three minutes, 30 seconds to the end of the first quarter. A really poor performance at the beginning of the game. The game. Bright Aquete fouled. He will go to the line to shoot two. At the last Samoguche tournament, they they didn't and, and River Hoopers they didn't really put up a group performance. Uh, some say they were actually using the competition to practice for the final eight, but. From the way we've seen them in the last game and today, maybe they're actually right. But I won't give any excuses for poor performances. Uno go on chop one million naira. And Levi takes the ball in. He passes it out to. Wheezy, Wheezy doesn't make the shot, but Levi gets the rebound. He forces the three. Still not good. Johnson in play. Oh, no eye contact, no communication. And a pass to Wheezy. Oh. They're afraid of a watch. A watch. <laughs> And watch is going to sweep them. Oh, Chibuzo get fouled by Bright. Uh, what I was saying, nobody wants to get blocked by Ewache. Ewache's block is ugly. Like seriously ugly. He could block a home run with a basketball. And Gombe Boo's inbounds the ball. Matthew takes the ball in. Tries to score on Bucho, but Bucho plays a good defense. But Chibuzo gets the rebound. Oh. A double team. Forces Matthew, but Matthew gets out of the trap. And the 24 second shot clock violation. Okay, Abdraman stands up. He's, 
Um, he said in this country he was just going to sit down, cross his legs, and watch the game. But from what I see, Abdurrahman, Coach Abdurrahman, will never sit down for this. Oh. Roy and River Hoopers, 13, Gombe Bulls, 2. River pass possession. Gucci with the ball. Sets up. Moose. Foul on Chibuzo. All right. Um, Musti wasn't in the game yesterday, but I think he's not in the lineup today. Musti, one of the prolific shooters in Nigerian league. Number eight. Watch out for him. Gombe makes a sub. Stripped. And ball recovered by Chibuzo. Loose ball foul on River Hoopers. Foul number 23. Their shooting performance is really poor. A nice steal there. Musti takes advantage of the two. Um, you could say Gombe Booz is. You could say Gombe Booz has been jinxed or something. Shot. Ah, and the sub breaks the jinx of the three-point drought for Gombe Booz. I literally have said that Gombe Booz was jinxed today. Oh, a watch it. Oh, with Zoopsie Daisy, it doesn't work. But his teammate helps him out. So scores, 25 seconds remaining. River Hopper, 17. Bulls, 5. Chibuzo, this is out for another shot, but he doesn't take it. Gives it to Chibuzo. The spin around move. And Chibuzo gets swiped by Wachoy. A watch here. That was wicked. Twelve seconds remaining. A fourth shot. Not good. He gets his rebound. He, but the shot clock violation is against them. It was six seconds on the clock. River Hoopers had the chance to add another to the tally. Musti with the ball. Five seconds. He loses possession. Rev says it's a strip. Timeout call for River Hoopers. With three seconds remaining. Let's see if they can pull a rabbit out of this one. Score 17. To River Hoopers, five to Gombe Bulls. A really poor start for Gombe Bulls. The caliber of players they have on in the team. But this River Hoopers team, they are they are on top notch. Championship material team. Let's see how far that goes. For those that are coming, welcome. This is MBBF Final 8. Um, River Hoopers are playing Gombe Bulls right now and the score is 17-5 in favor of River Hoopers. The first game of the day, Lagos Islanders lost to Nigeria Custom. The second game, Benway Braves picked their first win against Police Batons.
the third game. Qua Falcons shock Cano Pillars. And this is the last game for the day. No good. And that's the end of the first quarter. Revolvers lead 17 to 5. Okay, welcome back. The second quarter of the game. For those just tuning in, River Uppers are playing Gombe Bulls and River Uppers are leading 17 to 5. Second quarter is about to begin. Musti yet to make his mark. Oh, whoa! Why did he pump? Why did he pump? We were all in the stadium about to erupt. And Wachel was going to flush the ball and he just simply dropped it. And Gombe Booz scored two points. Bucci misses the layup, spin around, turn to Musti, but a foul call before Musti could convert the two. Okay, okay, okay. This is getting exciting. Evening, Shina Stefan. Point taken. We'll find a solution to that.
Shot not good. And Rubal pass with the transition. Oh, it takes a high. Bucci with the rebound. And Bucci scores. Injury uh, and situation. Wow! How he got of that? How he got out of that? Crisis is beyond me. And watch that sinks the two. Oh, miscommunication. And our check gets the steal. And a foul on Chibuzo. And River Hoppers will go to the line to add two points to their tab. First shot is good. Second doesn't count. Great pass, rejected, and a foul. Oh, that was a really nice transition. Only that it wasn't converted. Time out call. Okay, if you're just tuning in, River Hoppers are playing Gombe Bulls. River Hoppers is leading 26 to 9. Six minutes, 56 seconds remaining. Bia, welcome. Why aren't you at the stadium? So that you can, you can be part of the uh, fans that will feel the stadium. I don't know why the stadium is empty for today. 
but on, on the other side of the court, a lot of people are there. On, the, on that side facing the court, um, there are a few people. But you're hearing a lot of noise. That means that people are, are here watching. Shot not good. Basket counted. Michael makes the first. Michael, one of the top players in Nigeria, league, currently one of the best players in Nigeria. Very strong, shoot, great shooter, defensive player, shot blocker. Does it all? He's like hundred. He's like a all-round player. And this is first. This is first competition with Gombe Bulls. It was. He played last with Customs, he marked the ball championship. Where he won the title and he was the MVP. Foul on Owe Choi. Bad pass, but not intentional. Well, nothing is ever intentional. You never want to do anything to jeopardize your team's your team winning or not scoring. So, whoa, nice pass. But Matthew fouled Baba Lefty. Baba Lefty has been introduced into the game. Um. River Uppers are already in the penalty. While Gombe Bulls have three team foul. Shot. No good. I just told you about this this all-round player. He can play in almost every position on the floor. Musti with the shot. No good. Matthew with the rebound. Levite starts the transition. He goes to the rim. Oh, good, good block. Damn. Shot not good. Oh, everybody knows, everybody knows who Musti is, that's why they are flipping for any fake. The ball slipped off, Baba left his hand. And possession is lost. A timeout call by River of us. Less than five minutes on the end of the second quarter. River of us are up 26, Gombe Bulls 13.
Yes, we should be. I'll keep updating with the scores every at least every two to three minutes. Then, yeah, he should have gone directly to the rim. Maybe you'd have gotten a foul. Or maybe he was you know, trying to be selfless or something. Definitely, I know he's not scared. I know he's not a scared player, so but it's only him that knows why he passed, had to pass the ball. Gombe inbounds the ball. Shot blocked by Victor. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Levi takes the shot. Still not good. Watch out with the transition. Baba Lefty gets the ball and he's fouled. And he'll go to the line to shoot a two. Nice pass from Owachoy. Four minutes, 31 seconds remaining. River up at 26. Gombe Bulls, 13. First shot, not good. He didn't play much in the first game. Uh, today he's getting more minutes. Basket. Victor Coco scores after the sloppy transition both team. Shot is good. Okay, okay, okay. Gumbe Bulls are starting to have something coming. Something's finally working for them. Good pass by our church to Victor. That's easy bucket. Matthew blocked by Victor. Victor is doing what he does best. Oh, nice defensive stop.
Foul on Chibuzo. The foul was given to Baba Lefty. The scores is 31 to 18. 31 18. River Alpers have 31 points. Gombe Bulls 18. Two minutes, 24 seconds remaining. Gombe sinks one, so it's 19. It makes both 11 point lead. Johnson brings the ball down. Owen with a three. No good. Chibuzov takes it down with authority. And the scores is 31-22. Victor tried to post up. He takes a turnaround jumper. Doesn't go. The rebound is taken. Bucci drops it. A foul. A foul on River Hoopers. Gombe Bulls have a chance to reduce the deficit again. Score is 33 to 22. First shot, not good. Funny, they've, had, they've not gone to the line that much, but they've been scoring any time they go to the line. It makes one count. So I don't expect them to, to play with their free throws right now. Good shot. But well, it doesn't go. But well, he gets his rebound. And he takes it up. And he's fouled. And one. Count it. Gombebus are letting them leech into the defense. And it's going to hurt Gombebus. They are struggling to come back and they're giving away such baskets. It's going to be a really tough, tough day for them. And he drops it for a three point play. So the league has been extended to 36 23. An offensive foul call on Chibuzo. Do you call this frustration? It's just the second quarter. You can't be doing things like this. Coach Abdraman is up on his feet. Victor Coco knows how to score from here. Oh boy, doesn't make this one count. 32 seconds remaining. The end of second quarter. Five seconds on the shot clock. 70, 17 seconds remaining to the end of second quarter. Gombe Bush possession. Yeah. 
Chubuzov doesn't get the shot. Nine seconds remaining. Five. Owen takes the last shot. No good. And there we have it. The end of the second quarter. Revolpers lead 36 23 to Gombe Bulls. So we'll be back after the first half break. King Ball, the scores is 36 to 23. River Hoppers are leading Gombe Boost, 36 23. 13 point deficit.
Okay, if you're just joining us, welcome back. Uh, for those that have been with us, if you're just joining us, we're in the third quarter of the MBBF Final Eight face-off match between Gombe Bulls and River Hoopers. Um, the first game that took place today saw Andrea Customs losing to Lagos Islanders. The second match, Benry Braves beat Police Batons. The third game, Quarra Falcons defeated Kanu Pillars. In this last game right now, River Hoppers are leading Gombe Bulls 36 to You heard that from the River Opas people. A, a, a side team said hustle, the other one said defense. So let's see how it goes. Hustle will either beat defense. And the third quarter, here we go. The shot comes short and bright with the rebound. Bright wasn't introduced much in the second quarter. In the last game, he, his impact gave River up as the turnaround to win the game. Rebound by Chiuza. Another chance goes begging. Bright saves the ball for Gombe Bulls. Gombe Bulls offense has been sloppy at the beginning of this third quarter. Just the way they started in the first quarter. Finally, Michael drops the first bucket for the for the Bulls to the, at the third quarter. Shot, a great three point from Johnson. Johnson has actually been quiet in this game. Yes, he knocked a lot of those threes. But today it was, it was quiet. Blocked by Bright. Hey, wait. <laughs> That, that that slight tackle made me <laughs> oh good shot by Johnson like I said Johnson is now heating up in the third quarter oh, and that, that slight tackle made me shout away I was I prayed that nothing happened that, that, that could be an injury prone tackle Michael with the drive forces the shot he doesn't get it Victor with the rebound and he loses it to Levi. Levi takes a deep three, doesn't go, and Coco gets the rebound again. A backup violation. I wonder why Johnson didn't stop and take the shot. As practically, his hands are hot. He's taking two back to back three points. Is he mising his shot or something? So 7 minutes 14 seconds remaining, River Up has 42, Gombe Bulls 25.
foul on Michael. And River Hoppers get the possession. Mila, thank you for, for the recognition. An offensive foul by Bright Akwete. He has the body, but I don't think he, it was necessary for him to do it because he was matched up against Chibuzo and he, he's bigger and stronger than Chibuzo, so I don't expect him to, to push or shove. Air ball by Moses. Sorry, an air ball by Michael. It was a good move, but there was no power in the three point and a timeout call for Gombe Bulls. The coaching staffs are starting to get frustrated. Like I said, it's a new team, so um, right now, for the past three plays, we've not, I've not really seen any organized play from the from Gombe Bulls side. They they just play and get try and get to the rim. Um, they need to re-strategize if they're going to beat or come against a team like River Hoppers that have been together for a while. They've been in camp, they've been working out and things are actually going their way right now. So there we have it. 42-25 River Hoppers lead. Seventeen point lead. Wow, that's a lot. They are gradually tearing away, and it's going to be difficult for Gombe Bulls to come back from this. If Gombe Bulls keep them, if they if they keep Gombe Bulls at bay, it's going to be difficult for Gombe Bulls to come come out of this. Four short by Owen, but you know Owen. Owen does what Owen sees. I noticed the combination of of uh, Owen and Johnson really put some fire in River Coopers. Yeah, uh, Miller, we post stats at the end of every game. Uh, if you check our uh, previous posts, like yesterday's, uh, yesterday's game, we have uh, pictures of the stats of every player, everything, team stats and individual stats. Oh, Bright, the garbage man. He always knows how to keep it clean. He cleaned up Owen's mess. He was going match up with Victor. Matthew match up with Bright. Matthew forces the shot, no good. Victor with the rebound, and he gives it to Owen. Owen slows down and drops a two point. Like I said, if they don't clean up, if they don't, if they don't do something, River Hoppers are going to lose them. Spurs 48-25. It's a 23-point deficit. And Gombe Bulls are losing it. Bright, waiting for the rebound. He goes up and he sinks it to a 25-point lead. They've gone 12-0 on Gombe Bulls. 12 baskets and Gombe Bulls have not retaliated.
Chibuzo goes up and gets the easy bucket on Victor. They, they killed the... They killed the 12 points run. Shot not good. Right to the rebound. And the transition go. Three point shot. Sinks it. He's shooting like 60% 60, 60 from the three-point three arc. He's attempted three and scored two in the game so far from the bench. At least there goes some salvation for Gombe Bulls. Johnson gets stuck, travels. Traveling call on Johnson and Gombe Bulls will have a chance to reduce it. Third quarter, three minutes, 17 seconds remaining. Scores 50 River Opas, 30, Gombe Bulls. Yes, Mila, it's Ade. How can I help you? <laughs> um... Yeah, we, we do, but not probably not all the games. But we'll try and, we'll try and, and stream all the matches. If not, we'll try and stream the, the very interesting ones. Our choice is in. Blocked. He tries to cause the oh, miscommunication by the Gombe defense and a loose possession to River Opas. <laughs> you, think, you think you know me, Mila? Where do you know me from? I'm a normal face in Nigerian basketball. You probably must have seen me somewhere. Overture. And Musti for the deep three. Doesn't work. Rebound by Bucci. And another three attempt. Still doesn't work. And they give them the third attempt. But they don't take it. River Uppers are actually having fun right now. They are actually having so much fun. They're just ro rotating the ball, keeping Gombe Bulls on their feet, hopping all over the place. Ferocious foul. Uh, that is a story for another time. <laughs> Let's focus on the game. You can find me later and ask me those questions. Right now, let us let us talk about the game. Misses the first shot. Bad decision. And they give River Uppers a chance to open up the lead.
No, the problem is um, this is a new team that they are putting together. So, like half of their players are not are not one are not there now. So they gather the new set of players that they are trying to groom now. Same thing for Kanu Pillars. Oh, he evades. Watch <laughs> it. Watch it. Just laughs it off because they watch it. Chased that ball all the way down. I don't want to be disgraced by. I don't want to be disgraced by your block, bro. A foul on Ochoi. Two of your guys are on the floor at the same time. I mean, your guys are doing magic, man. Musti forces a shot, doesn't work. Wisdom, wiz, wiz is back. Shot, not good. And Musti gets an easy bucket. And, and they are blowing away the lead. They are blowing away. Bumbebu's struggling. Oh, good steal. Good steal. Seconds remaining to the end of the third quarter. They utilize the two points, and that's the end of the third quarter. River Hoopers are doing magic right now. 18 point lead, 52 to 34. Will Gombe Boos? be able to come out of this drastic 18-point deficit? Will they be able to cut it down? Will they be able to come back? Is it possible in this, in this tactical time of basketball in Nigeria? Uh, well, anything is possible. It's stoppage time. We got 10 minutes. Um, River Hoppers can choose to play bunkers and give uh, Gombe Bulls the chance to come back. Or they could still keep up their tempo and uh, and and blow the lead even further. So the third quarter scores 52-34. 52-34. Rivalpas 52. Gombe Bulls 34. The end of the third quarter. One more quarter to go. We have one more quarter remaining.
And the fourth quarter begins. Shot not good. Rejected. Oh. Gumbebu scored the first two points of the game. Like I said, un unless River Open start playing bonkers, I do not see Gumbebu coming out of this. Are not taking advantage of their of the of their offense. They're having chances to score. They're, they're, they're not really doing well at it. Are they are they comfortable? Do you think that they are comfortable? If they are comfortable, Gome Boost, that's five offense will cut this league down. Five offense will cut the league down. And believe me, if it happens, the, the tempo would tilt the other way. First free throw. First free throw is good. He misses the second. Gombebus came out with a different energy, a different chakra. They are not setting up. They are like Pratkai pulling the ball in transition. Oh, oh, that was a cheap, cheap loss of possession. Now, time out for River Uppers. They realize that Gombebu is coming out with the horns. So. They have to come up with a different strategy. Eight minutes, 32 seconds remaining at the end of the fourth, fourth quarter. Second violation. Hey, watch out. He don't sleep there. He's very tough. Chess boy not good with the with the transition 
the transition break allows the giveaway bad pass. Like I said earlier on, oh Johnson, the heat is on. Johnson has picked up his form back. Now he, he shoots it. License to kill. Michael with the power drive. Scores 56-43. A 13-point cushion. Traveling call from jo You call that Waka man. Waka now. Johnson probably took the flight. Waka now dot com. So Leva is coming back in for Wizzy. A great game by Wizzy. seconds on the shot clock. Impressive defense by River Hoppers. Uh, Gombe Boos find it difficult to penetrate their defense when they are... When they are... Oh, that's a foul. And he fails to sink it. What I was saying was that um, Gombe Boos are finding it difficult to penetrate River Hoppers defense if they have planted the defense. But if it's on transition, they, they always have a chance to score. But once they've sat down on their man or their zone or whatever it is they are playing, they really find it difficult to get to the basket. But I expected this big man to, to drop that two points. That was an easy bucket. Probably because it's his left hand or something. We well, advice players so always learn how to use both hands. So you'll be an elite. Makes both count. Oh, bad pass. And Gobebu take the transition. And it shot by Michael. And he sinks the three. But I I need to ask, why is he throwing his legs after the shot? Is he trying to buy a foul? How do you buy a foul from throwing your legs? A foul on Mike on Owen by Michael. Do you do you buy fouls from throwing legs? Okay, scores is 56-48. Like I said before, if if River Pass slack, Gombe Bulls are gonna come back hard. And right now they're down from an 18-point deficit to an eight-point deficit. Scores 57-48. It's now a nine-point deficit. Ah, he has to solve. If, if nothing is working for him, he needs to find what will work for him. But it's like this current five on the ground, they are working for him. Lost 
loss of possession. And Gobe Bulls have a chance to reduce it again. Shot, a foul on Michael. What he's been searching for without the kick this time. And Royal has lead 57-48. From 18 points, it's now a 9-point deficit and Michael has the chance to make it a 6-point game. He sinks the first. Second shot is good. Oh, it makes all three. Right now the scores is 57-51. 57-51. Royal Upas are up by six. They squandered the 18 point lead. And who just graduated from the team? Oh, Levi, number 12, just graduated from the league. And that is done for the day. No shot. But Victor gets the rebound and they have another chance. Bright is back in. Bright with his brute force. His cheeky basket and Owen cleans up his mess. They are cleaning each other's mess. The last time Bright cleaned up Owen's mess. Now Owen's cleaning up his own mess. Oh, crossover doesn't go. He loses possession, but his teammates get it. And he goes to the rim. Four seconds on shot clock. And the shot doesn't go. Victor with the rebound. And Owen takes the tr begins the transition. You will not love you will not want to leave Johnson like that. Coco with the three. Coco sinks it. Victor Coco gives Revolver an 11 point gap. 62 51. Good drop step by the big man. It's now a nine point lead. Three minutes, 24 seconds remaining. Owen tries to take the ball in. Great defense by Gombe Booz. Right steps out for Owen. Owen forces the three. He doesn't make it and the rebound by Michael. Three minutes, nine seconds remaining. Score 62-53. And there's a warning. There's a warning uh, on the River Pass coach, Coach Ogo, telling him to calm his nerves. Three minutes, eight seconds remaining. Score 62-53 for those that are just coming in. A foul on Michael. Michael, the cheeky player. 
He knows how to get himself to the line, so he's going to shoot three. Drops the first shot. Oh, misses the second. He never expected it. The scores. 62, 55, 62, Royal River Hoopers, 55, Gombe Bulls. Pressure on Victor Koko by Matthew. But Victor gets stripped. But he gets the ball to Owen for three. Owen misses. And Gombe Bulls gets the rebound, but foul by Owen. And right now, Revolpers have four team foul, so they're in the penalty. Score 62 55. Shot, no good. Rebound by Victor. Great layup, but didn't count. And Michael takes the ball in and gives it for a three. They sink it. 62-58 from 18 points to four-point deficit. One minute, 38 seconds remaining in the game. Will Gombe Boos cause an upset here? Victor tries to slam it home, but he's fouled by Chibuzo, and he'll go to the line to shoot two. Score 62-58, River Opa 62, Gombe Bulls 58. I still make emphasis, 18 points. How do you throw away an 18-point lead? How do you throw away an 18-point lead? If, you, uh, if, you, if you're planning to go to the BAL and you're leading with that kind of lead 18 points. I don't expect you, you cannot, I repeat, you will not try and lose that kind of point because they will take advantage of it. He scores one out of two, the five points. Oh, they get the rebound, but it doesn't work. And now Gombe Boos with possession. Well, Wacha saves the ball for Johnson. One minute, six seconds remaining. A foul. And Johnson will go to the line to shoot a two. Five point lead. 63 58. A sloppy first quarter from River Pass. Very sloppy fourth quarter. They, they, they failed to hold on to that lead. They're lucky they're not paying for it yet. But let's not just write it off. Let's not just write Gombe Boos off here because anything can happen in one minute. Like I said, anything can happen. Say what? Anything can happen. Scores 63-58. River Opas are leading. Five-point deficit. 59 seconds left to the end of the game for today. So, today's day two. Recap, Lagos Islanders lost to Nigeria Customs. Benue Braves beat Police Batons. Kano Pillars lost to Quarrel Falcons. 
and now River Hoppers are playing Gomebu. So tomorrow, day three, Lagos Island will be slugging it out with Benway Braves. Lagos Islanders will be slugging it out with Benway Braves. The police battens will be up against Nigeria Customs. Gombe Bulls will be will be facing the unbeatable unbeaten Quail Falcons. And River Hoppers will take out will be taking on the Canopillars. A very exciting matchup tomorrow. You need to be here to see it. And if you're not here, Nigeria will try and get it live to yours. Johnson misses the first. Will Johnson miss the second? Or will he save his team? He scores the second. A six point lead. 59 seconds remaining on the first round. 59 seconds remaining for the end of the game. The big man does the big thing. And he reduces it to a four point lead again. River up as not trying to force any shot. But Johnson forces the shot and he sinks it. He sinks it. He gives River up as another lifeline and a timeout call for Gombe Bulls. You can't stop Johnson. Johnson is a super player. Johnson, you can't take it away from him. You just can't. He has attempted six three points and scored four. Same thing he did yesterday. He came with three back-to-back -back three points. And right now, he's keeping his team afloat. He's keeping the River Hoopers afloat. River Hoppers are not sinking today. 30 seconds remaining to the end of the game. 67 60. Gombe Booz, take your time. Serious dagger. That was a, like, uh, what do you call it? Die hard shot. I know these people are supposed to, they, they, they want planning on first any shot. They want that time to run before they take any shot. Oh man, Johnson said, man, I'm taking that home. I'm taking the W. Taking the W. Is it a song? I'm taking the W. Too. Score 67 60. But you give it, you have to give it to Gombe Boos. Gombe Boos put up a fight. 18 points, man, for God. For God's sake. What, what Carago was. River Up has eaten while Gombe Bulls came back from an 18 point deficit. And if they, if they, they will probably want to attempt a three point. Oh, that, that was an easy bucket, but he failed to capitalize on it. 18 seconds remaining. The game is almost over. They don't want to foul. Yes. I think by strategy, they try to reduce the deficits. Because from what I see from this championship, there's not going to be any head-to-head. -head because every team is not going to be, is not going to be uh, competing with the other team on scores. Like every Savannah will have to count for his own points. Every Atlantic team will have to count for their own points. Meaning that it ba it's, based, it's going to be based on points. If teams come up with the same number of wins or same number of, of anything, they, it will now be down to points. So the less points you concede or the more points you score, the more points you score, the more advantage you have. The less points you concede, the more advantage you have, whether you lose or win. It's been a great game today. River Opas, congrats on beating River Opas and Quarrel Falcons from this um, Atlantic Conference. The Savannah Conference teams have all lost the game each. But like I said, it's day two. Day three is going to come out stronger. Let's see how it's going to be. This is Ninja Hoop signing out. Thank you for viewing in. Have a nice evening.
Sorry before I go, this course is 6760 before some people cut my neck. Before some people cut my neck, oh, 6760.